hi and welcome to my channel so i had a very intelligent question from a lady over in nigeria called ify so if you wrote wrote to me saying melvis for over a year now i've been trying to get a carer job but i'm a qualified teacher back home in nigeria so melvis what would you advise me one should i continue to try and get a job as a carer to move to the uk or should i you know stop applying for jobs as a carer and then move to the uk as a teacher because actually right now i'm a teacher in a primary school what would you advise and i thought to myself what an intelligent question because you know like if there are going to be many other people who are in this situation who are thinking hmm what is the best pathway for me and so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you every single thing that i discussed with ify on how she should consider which pathway to use to move to the uk one is it better to come as a carer or two is it better to come as a teacher so if you're new to my channel you're welcome here if you're a returning subscriber obviously you already know I appreciate the time you take to watch these videos and most importantly i even appreciate more those of you that actually implement the information because look i'm calling this year the year for implementation so if you haven't subscribed to my channel you want to hit subscribe right now don't be a stranger on here turn on that notification button because you 100 percent want to be the first to be notified every single time when i drop a new video on here and look before i get started at the end of this month i'm going to be doing a live session you know that is going to be on zoom so if you check the comment section below i've left a link to join my newsletter and as soon as you join i'm going to email you the link to the live session the reason i'm doing it this way is because it is not going to be on youtube it's going to be on zoom because i want it as interactive as possible so if you're somebody who is keen on career progression in the uk or you're even out of the uk and you're like hmm why should i move to the uk why should i be bothered what about career progression look that particular session is going to be for you because you know as you know if well if you don't know now i'm telling you i work as an advanced nurse practitioner you know in england as you know and i have a private coaching service career coaching service where i support with career progression in the uk and that's why when it comes to career progression i am so passionate about this subject and i think if all of us took it as seriously as it is if all of us understood the advantages that come with career progression in a beautiful country like the uk look most of us would spend more time would focus more energy towards this career progression because you want to make sure you're building a legacy for yourself and you're not just living hand to mouth in the uk because it is not sustainable you want to make sure that you're building a legacy for yourself so check my newsletter in the comment section it's so easy to join just drop your name and your email it's not even going to take you 30 seconds to do that but the you know the results and the outcome and everything else you're going to get it's going to be so amazing because i also send you information directly to your inbox i don't want to be dealing with the youtube algorithm and hoping that they help you to see that you know the right videos or the right content for your personal circumstances but most importantly if you want that individualized support that personalized support then my private coaching program is for you and you know it's called nursing career bootcamp it supports you know nursing career progression in the uk nurses carers midwives student nurses prospective student nurses you know if you want those clinical non-clinical healthcare jobs or some work from home opportunities as well as starting your own side business then look you're a hundred percent want to check out my private coaching program so let's get started when if he asked that question i said to if he look when you're choosing a pathway to move to the uk you need to consider this qualifications what are the qualifications needed for a teacher versus those needed for say a carer for carer jobs you know a carer is an unlicensed profession so here in england for example which means anybody can basically apply to be a carer you don't need any degree you don't need any prior qualifications per se because all training is always provided once you start working anyway like moving and handling basic life support you get training for every single thing once you start so you don't need any qualifications but if you want to move to the uk as a qualified teacher a qualified teacher you're going to need to have you know evidence that you have already being a qualified teacher and you've been teaching you know you need references you need that certification and that accreditation to demonstrate that competency and so for this reason alone 
being a teacher is definitely going to work out better than coming as a carer because coming as a carer is generic anybody can just wake up and say oh my god melvis i want to come to the uk as a carer i've had many people in my private coaching program that have never even considered you know working in healthcare but because they have found me on social media and they have said melvis you really inspired me to get into healthcare you've really inspired me to become a nurse you've really inspired me to become a carer and then from there i'll be able to transition into nursing and from there we just start working on the plan and before you know it they're already in the uk but obviously if you're coming as a qualified teacher that's not really the case because you've got to have those qualifications already and for this reason alone coming as a teacher will mean that you have more chances for success generally than if you're coming as a carer because anybody can just apply for carer job but qualified teacher not having a qualification already eliminates so many people from the pathway so that's the first thing the second thing is pay hmm. look the starting salary for a qualified teacher in the uk is much higher than the starting salary for a carer if you're a carer in the uk you're going to earn twenty thousand pounds per year at the top of your career as a carer which means you've worked at the, as a carer for whether it's one year or 10 years or 20 years you're going to be earning twenty one thousand pounds look that is nothing close to what teachers earn being a teacher you're going to earn a lot more so actually i can add this together with a career pro prospect in terms of career progression obviously you're going to progress higher you know better as a teacher and eventually earn a lot more but as a carer if you don't transition from being a carer to say getting into nursing or whatever it is you want to do then you're ever only going to earn 21,000 which to be honest it is so bad and it is almost not worth it it is so bad and that's why when i'm insisting on career progression when i'm saying look we should all be focusing on our career progression we should all be looking at what else we can do is because of all of these reasons. If you've got two kids, you've got one dependent, for example, how do you manage those kids with earning £20,000 per year? And the hard work that we do is not easy. So when I said to Ify is, what do you think about these two different reasons? Ify was like, oh my God, Melvis, this is a no-brainer for me. You've made me realize. And I was like, look, my intention is not to tell you which one's better or worse. As a coach, what I do is give you the information, you know, ask those difficult questions so that you can make up the decision by yourself. I never come and say, oh, no, you have to do this now. You have to do this. That is not coaching. Coaching is supporting you understand your current situation so that you can get a better idea you can get a better picture of where you want to get to and then supporting you with the tools and resources that you need to get from that point one to point two where you want to be and that's what i do so i work with you to establish where are you now what are you right now where you're trying to get to you do that and then you establish the end point and then support you to link that bridge between where you are now and where you want to get to so again when it comes to being a teacher you're going to earn a lot more money and more career progression prospects within the same profession uh, but being a carer your transition completely to say nursing or whatever it is something different because if you're progressing as a carer you don't you don't earn much because senior carers are earning like you know twenty one thousand. You only the, you can then progress to like twenty three thousand. So the money is not much at all, and that's part of it. Then the next thing is flexibility. <laughs> so flexibility depends on you. Flexibility is gonna depend on your personal circumstances. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I just want you to hit subscribe right now. Turn on that notification button because you 100% want to be the first to be notified every single time I drop a new video on here. And look, you don't want to be a stranger. You want to join this family. Be part of the family. Be part of this high achievers, um, you know, channel because I don't want people that are lurking. I don't want people that are just like, oh, yeah, that was good, Melvis. Yeah, that's it. That's it. No, you need to be implementing these things. So leave a comment in the comment section saying, Melvis, I will implement. If you've got any other question, please do feel free to ask. If it's something that is very private, you can again check the comment section. You see a link to my newsletter. There's a place there to ask a question and it will come directly to me and I can reply to you directly. But obviously, if you need that personalized, individualized support, support that is tailored to you and your personal circumstances, then that's what I do through my private coaching program because then, you know, we can have that one-to-one -one session. You know, when you join initially, we have one-to-one -one session to kind of establish where we where we're heading to what do you want to achieve where are you right now how do we get there you know all of that and then after that 
we then put a plan in place and begin to implement so please you want to make sure that you're choosing the best pathway for your personal circumstances if like if you think about these two pathways you a hundred percent a hundred percent need to think again you need to think again and that's what i'm saying you know information online can be so generic you need to be able to see it out and bring to yourself what is specific for you so again working conditions you need to think about that flexibility those are all the things you need to be thinking about if you're a carer what are the working conditions for carers compared to teachers how do you see you know have you got a family do you want to work nights only <coughs> excuse me do you want to work nights only do you want to work weekends do you want to be off during school holidays? It's going to be up to you. And these are the things you need to consider because the two jobs are so different. So again, I hope you found this helpful. If you've been considering these two pathways, this is a fantastic opportunity for you to look into them and just make sure that you are striving. Thank you. Keep watching.